I shot a ton of clips in August that I never got a chance to edit because I made five trips, five short trips in September. So we're gonna take a look back at August, look at a typical work day, see some of the problems and issues that we encounter because Thursdays start out with observation. One of my late bloomer lessons, LBLs, is be observant. And that's where you discover all of your issues. Looking at the backs of leaves tells you a lot about what's going on in your garden. My camera is never far from my fingertips on Thursdays because we always turn up something interesting. First off, while Eric is doing the hand watering, I investigate the latest finds and develop a to-do list. We can never do everything in a day, so I have to prioritize. Usually we're planting or potting up on Thursdays, but I didn't capture that on video this day. Let me take you on a tour of the maze of my tiny garden. I contemplated a major pruning of the purple basil, but just couldn't do it to the bees. Any harvesting takes place in the morning, and if it's August, that means we are pruning mildewed leaves off tomato vines.
Meanwhile, leaf after leaf had some kind of infestation of whitefly, ants and aphids, or flea beetle. We spent a little time tying up the expanding pumpkin vine. I sprayed one garden block with soap and essential oils to discourage pests. The Butingan tomato that was so beautiful growing up through the trellis. I think it got too much water when I was away. It was dead within two weeks. So we took all of that out and we replaced it with two of my red stem Malabar spinach vines. Usually by afternoon, I'm too tired and pressed for time to grab the camera and just want to get everything done. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. And we always encounter some interesting insects. There were still a lot of tomatoes on the Aunt Ruby's vine and very few on the remaining vines. Eric leaves at four, but I carry on till five or so and then sit down to enjoy a cup of tea or chocolate in my cozy corner. Just when I was ready to relax, Zachary showed up and wanted to shell beans. Luckily, I had saved a few for him to do. That's pretty impressive for beans to be that beautiful. Let's see. Show me. Mmm, they are beautiful. What did you say? They're pretty impressive? Yeah. yeah. They were pretty impressive for beans to be this big and this beautiful. Well, the lima beans are not as beautiful, but you want to do those too? Yeah, sure, I'll do them. Okay. As always, thank you so much for your support. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, share this video with friends so I can grow this channel. And um, happy gardening. Thanks for watching. <laughs>